guys. I just finished filming last week's video, so if this looks exactly the same, this is a different one. Um, today I'm going to talk about my number one tip for maternity leave. I'm not on maternity leave anymore. Um, I've been back at work for a while now, but I had eight weeks with the baby um, while I was recovering from my C-section, and it was just her and me in the house. Um, my number one tip for feeling like an adult and getting stuff done is to have a to-do list. I know that sounds super simple, but hear me out. So the early weeks and months of a baby's life are so unpredictable as to when she's going to be asleep, when she's going to be awake, when she's going to be hungry and you're going to be trapped underneath her, when she's going to be cluster feeding and growth spreading and you're going to have to sit and do nothing. So secondary tips would be like have the remote handy when you're feeding uh, so that you can, you know, watch some TV or Netflix or something. Um, but my number one tip there is like have a to-do list, prioritize it in order of things that you want to get done first. So like if there's one thing that you'd like to get done, then um, put that at the top of the list. And as soon as the baby goes down, you start to um, just to look around yourself and go, I'm not carrying a baby. She's asleep. She's fine. I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know what I can get done. I probably can't clean the whole house. What do I do? What do I do? And then you find yourself spending 15 minutes going around the house trying to figure out what you can do. And then... Five minutes after that, the baby's awake and you've barely gotten started on something. If you have a list and it's prioritized, then that number one thing, as soon as the baby goes down for a nap, you can get started on your thing. And whether it's you empty the dishwasher, great. Maybe you, you know, get it halfway emptied and the baby wakes up and needs you. Then you know what to go back to when she's down again. If you finish it, then you go to task number two and you fold the laundry. And then, like, if you've done something... Maybe this is just me, but you might be subscribed to me because I do my planner stuff. If you're a planner person, I'm, I'll just assume we're all planner people. You feel a lot better about yourself if you've gotten at least one thing done by the end of the day. Um, and so basically, if you know what that one thing is going to be when the baby goes down, then you can actually get something done instead of just wandering around the house going, what do I do? Um... And it took me a couple weeks to figure that out. And then once I had a to-do list, and you can make your to-do list while you're trapped under a baby. That's a thing. Um, having also like a list of things that you can do while you're nursing, whether that's just catching up on a Netflix show you haven't seen or, you know, planning projects or writing something or whatever, things that you can do one-handed, um, you know, prepare yourself a meal and have it sitting next to where you're going to feed the baby so that you can multitask. Um, those are all, you know, little ways to get things done while you're stuck, but in those moments in between, it's good to know what you're going to do, uh, before you go to do it. So that's all. If I had one piece of advice to give for maternity leave moms, that's what I would do. I have no idea what you would do for your second baby. I am not there yet. And I completely respect moms who have toddlers to take care of while learning how to, you know, meet and understand their new child. That is probably a completely different thing, but that's all. It was supposed to be a short video, so it's a short video, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!